I'm Barry Banther, author of A Leader's Gift, How to Earn the Right to be Followed. So let me ask you a question. What do you think is the value of just one second? Well, why don't you ask a young mother who just said goodbye to her husband who's deploying how valuable one more second would be? Or how about the business person who just missed a flight barely? A second matters. Or how about the grandchild who didn't get to the hospital on time? They were just a second too late. Or better yet, anybody who's a fan of the University of Alabama football team. A second matters. And the reason that we oftentimes aren't willing to give a second or 60 seconds to invest time in someone is because we've got this notion that it's running away and it'll consume me. If it's true that developing your team, developing the people that follow you, is absolutely essential to your success, then you've got a choice to make. And that choice is to invest time in them. In A Leader's Gift, we describe in depth how to do this. And at aleadersgift.com, we give you a lot of information on how you can. But here's the simple formula I want to encourage you to consider. Everyone who works with you, first of all, deserves 60 seconds a day, just 60 seconds. If they don't all work in the same location you are, you can call them on the phone. Because if you give them that 60 seconds every day, then that mounts up over time. And along with giving them the gift of openness, you're now giving them the time to create and nurture that. So 60 seconds every day. And then once a week, I want to challenge you to give 15 to 30 minutes for every person that you lead. It, now, I'm not talking about a staff meeting. I'm not talking about inviting them into your office because you've got an agenda. You're giving them 15 to 30 minutes of your time. You're investing time in them. You're sending the message that they're valuable. 60 seconds a day, 15 to 30 minutes that I want you to do every week, and then every month, everyone you're leading deserves one hour of your time. 60 minutes that you're going to spend with them, nurturing them and investing them. Think about anything in your life you want to develop a physical trait, a sporting skill, anything you attempt to do, you know you have to make those investments daily. It's like your car. You know the oil needs to be changed every month, but you get busy and you've got conflicts and you can't get it changed this month and it's still running. The oil light's not come on yet. It seems to be okay. And over time, you continue, you continue to procrastinate and put that off and then suddenly you've got a major problem. You've got an engine that's blown. How about that employee who never had that time with you? In fact, a recent study suggested that the majority of employees who voluntarily leave a job say, I didn't, I'm not leaving the job. I'm leaving my manager, my leader. They weren't there for me. You are there for them when you give them 60 seconds a day, 15 to 30 minutes every week, and at least 60 minutes, one hour every month that you're investing in them. Now, when you do that and it's over, I want you to ask yourself three questions. First of all, what did I just learn? What did I learn from this encounter? Secondly, what action do I need to take as a result of this? And then thirdly, what does this mean for the future of how I'm developing and growing this employee? Doesn't it make sense when you stop to think about it? That if investing in people means that those people are going to grow, they're going to be more open to me, they're going to in turn listen to me, if I'm investing time in them, doesn't that seem like the best investment I can make? As a young manager, <laughs> I was so foolish, I wasted so much time, I thought, I'll pay attention to my team when a problem occurs. Then it's too late. You have to develop this every single day. When you do that, then you're creating the kind of leadership that's a behavior that other people are going to want to follow. Go to theleadersgift.com, find out how you can make this investment of time. Read about other leaders, other people who've found that this one thing makes a radical difference in their career. It'll help you become the lasting leader you really want to be.